Today I'm showing off a 1924 Royal 10. Um, and this is a um, beautiful vintage typewriter. And again, we don't always find, um, are able to get these old ones that are able to work again. This one actually works. So I'm excited to show this to you. <clears throat> we, um, Rob cleaned it up considerably. It was in pretty rough shape. Um, so we're excited that this one is, is, um, has come out so nice. Obviously it still shows its age and, um, somewhere, but let's take a look at this typewriter. Um, and I have figured out most everything, but not everything. So here you're going to find, um, your carriage release. And on this one, you'll see that when you move your carriage, it also moves your ribbons. Again, these are the um, original metal spools, so they don't take a universal ribbon. You'll have to wind the ribbon you need on there. And so again, you can either send us your spools and we'll put a fresh ribbon on it, which we've already done. Um, or you can order universal ribbons and then just transfer the ribbon to the spool. Um, you just see these little knobs and then you just pull those back and lift these up and out. <clears throat> these, if you press this, that pops these back. I honestly have no idea why you would want to pop back your paper guides, but that's what it does. Okay, so right here is going to be your single, double, and triple line advance when you... Um, when you hit your return, I have it on triple. I'm going to put it back to single. Behind here, you can't see it, is where you set your margins. This is the margin release. On this typewriter, the margin release does not work. Both of these um, change the direction of your ribbons. So you can just do that <clears throat> or that, and um, either one actually will... And this one feels more like a reset tab. Let's say maybe sometimes you're, especially on these older ones, the ribbons might kind of just get um, stuck. And sometimes there's a little, or your carriage, and there's a little reset. We're not entirely sure if that's exactly what that is, but we do know it kind of moves along with the ribbon reversal. So again, this ribbon, you should be able to use it many times by going back and forth. Um... Okay. Also, let's see, what else do we need to know? Carriage release, paper release is right here. That's paper release as well. And I think that's it so far. Let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Now, just to let you know, it may take a few pages. Um, we've already run several pages through it. But because this typewriter needed such an intensive cleaning, there is still quite a bit of residue um, from the cleaning underneath the roller. And if you've looked at our video, which we I highly recommend, we don't take apart um, and replace parts on typewriters. Though um, we are, Rob is doing more and more of that. But because we don't replace this or he didn't take this apart, some of the cleaning solution is down in there. But so when you roll this paper, which it still rolls wonderful, you might see some residue. There's just a little bit of cleaner still on there. And it may take a few pieces of paper for that to do it, to work its way out. Okay, let's go ahead and do some typing. So if you're not familiar, most of these older typewriters do not have a number one. You use a lowercase l for that. Um, I'm going to move this and set the margin. I can't see it very well. Let's see. Not sure if that's going to set it or not. Let's release the carriage. Nope. Okay, so it looks like the margin set <clears throat> is either not working or I don't know how to work it. So you may need to do a little bit of research on, let's <coughs> see if you can find an old manual that would tell you how to do that.
I think it's really cool looking, <coughs> excuse me, the keys, and I did take some close-up pictures. The keys have the age of time on them. I mean, some of them still look really nice. They're the original glass keys, but the paper underneath has some of that discoloration from time, and I think it looks fabulous. Um, at least the right margin is working. And the bell sounds nice. Okay, let's backspace works good. Very nice. Let's try the um, red. So, <clears throat> I forgot to show you this knob right here, and underneath it says lower and upper. That's actually your um, color selector. Nice. Okay, how fun is this? I'll take a photo and put this on our Etsy listing. You can find the link in the comments below. But whether you're going to use this for decorative or actually use it to write on, it's great that you have that option. That's something this old, this beautiful, this fabulous piece of machinery is able to um, is able to work. Now, I will say. Um, it does have its wear and tear on it, and you can see where somebody, at some time, um, you can see the um, outlines of the original royal decal right here. Somebody painted over that. I don't know why they would do that, but it was, this typewriter must have been touched up or repainted at some point in time, at least parts of it. But there are chips, not a lot, I mean, but there's some chips, and for something that's almost 100 years old, it's really in excellent condition, and you can look at the um, images for this typewriter on our Etsy shop. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching.